Is there a connection between two deadly shootings in Midtown this weekend? We're still waiting to hear word from Tucson police. <coughs> oh, that was gunfire. This is the dramatic scene that unfolded Saturday afternoon near Prince and Stone while a K-Gun 9 crew was covering a shooting the night before. Two deadly shootings in two days. Friday night at Prince Park Mobile Home Community. Tucson police found this man, 26-year-old Richard Freeze, lying in a parking lot, shot a number of times. His father devastated. His son only a day away from moving to Illinois. Uh, he was supposed to be returning a key to uh, a friend of his. Like I said, he was leaving the next morning with his cousin. Freeze died that night, and the suspect was on the loose Saturday afternoon. Gunfire erupts again at the same location after two officers walked towards a man reported as suspicious. Police say that man opened fire at officers who fired back. And watch on the right. The officer runs toward the man on the left of the screen who fell to the ground. You can see the officer kick the gun away from the shooter still lying on the ground hit by bullets. The officer puts him in handcuffs. The man lies motionless. Moments later, a woman runs over and gives him CPR until paramedics arrive and take him away in an ambulance. He died the next day in the hospital. Free's father believes there's a connection between the two shootings. I'm hoping they can connect him to it. I mean, it's kind of a, a big coincidence that he's at the same address, you know, shooting at the police. Yeah. He says his yeah. oldest son left his family's home after saying he loved them and never came back. Police are not releasing the name of the shooter right now. The two officers involved in the shooting are Brendan Brummett, a four-year veteran, and one-year vet, Matthew Gustafson.